one year ago, Cole Caulfield's overtime winner sent Team USA confidently into the World Junior quarterfinal. A fifth consecutive medal seemed within the Americans' reach. Until it wasn't. Oden gets it and scores! Team Finland ends USA's run in this World Junior Championship and streak of medals in the tournament. Now, after 12 months in which so much has changed, eight Americans return to the knockout round with the familiar ambition of a medal and genuine belief that it will be gold. Yet, there are no illusions about the difficulties ahead. This is when you really rely on those guys that played in the tournament last year, um, you know, of resetting the mindset of the group. We need those guys now to, to help make sure that this group isn't leaving in the, living in the past, that, they're, that they understand that we're in the present. You know, once it's the quarters, you, you just have one bad game. You know, it could be one bad shift, one bad play, you know, whatever it is, that, that costs you your whole tournament. And then all those games that you just won don't really mean anything. I think we were still trying to figure out our identity and what we were trying to be um, in that quarterfinal game. And Finland kind of came at us pretty good and we just weren't ready for it. Um, so I think we're all, we're all really motivated this year. We know what it takes now because um, we've been on that stage, so we're, we're all really excited. Trevor Zegras led last year's World Junior with nine assists, but did not score a goal himself. He enters Saturday's quarterfinal with the tournament best 13 points, including six goals, tied with Canada's Dylan Cousin for the most at this World Junior. Last year, he was an underager in the tournament. This year, you know, he's added weight. He can hold the puck. He's more confident in playing with a guy on his hip. He's more confident in winning one-on-one uh, -on -one battles with his strength. I haven't seen a player as dangerous as he is at the end of a shift. Lehman says Dustin Wolf or Spencer Knight can lead Team USA to gold. Over three consecutive shutouts, they played like it. Wolfie's a top-class goaltender. He's obviously one of the best. When you're uh, playing together with a goalie like that, you know, it's nice to push each other. And, you know, we were obviously bouncing ideas off each other in practice and whatnot. But, you know, obviously, I think it comes down to just sort of playing. The other ones that know they're going to get the support from the other goalie, right? So if he's playing, I'm going to score 100%. And I know when I'm playing, you know, he's always there for me. So it works out well. Cam York was Team USA's seventh defenseman in last year's quarterfinal. He finished with the lowest ice time of any skater on either team. Now, Lehman relies on him as the American captain and backbone of the blue line. Cam has done a great job with it. He's quiet. He's very quiet. He's a quiet leader. He, he leads with his play, which is terrific. The strength of this group is that they care about each other and, and they're playing for each other. Cam has certainly done a, a terrific job kind of, you know, leading with his action. Caulfield, Alex Turcott, and Arthur Kaliev have returned in familiar roles. Bobby Brink, a fourth liner last year, supplied sandpaper and scoring during Team USA's crucial win over the Czech Republic, while showing chemistry with line mates John Farinacci and Brett Barrard. Drinker's gritty. He's, he's really effective, and um, they've kind of bought into that. You know, both Farinacci and Brink took cross checks from behind on that goal against. They pay the price. They're fearless, and, uh, and they're a gritty group. So, um, you know, I, I, like the, I like the karma of that line. Surely, some American fans wonder how Team USA might look with Jack Hughes or Nick Robertson, Johnny Beecher or Thomas Bordelow, all of whom are birth year eligible for this World Junior. Their absences have meant more opportunity and responsibility for other U.S. forwards. And so far, they've met the moment. Gerard's playing, you know, really well. Farinacci's playing well. Brink's playing really well. Uh, Moynihan's playing well. We need the, we need those guys to keep growing for our team to keep growing, and, and that's what I'm excited about. As Team USA takes the ice, last year's disappointment against Finland may not be the only game on their minds. Five American players were in Edmonton at the very same arena for the controversial semifinal loss to Canada at the 2018 Palenka Gretzky Cup. Six others were denied the chance to chase gold on home ice at the 2020 World Under-18 when that event was canceled due to the pandemic. Now they're developing an identity that melds top-end talent and the grit that is a hallmark of Lehman's teams at Providence College. And the time to learn if there's a John Carlson or a John Gibson or a Troy Terry on this year's team begins tonight.